Hello there guys, my name is Michael and if you're looking to impress somebody on guitar, here's a super duper easy way to play some amazing sounding chords which just use two fingers. So buckle up because this lesson is going to be very very easy and by the end of it you'll be playing some amazing sounding chords. Now in this lesson I'm going to show you one amazingly simple chord shape which you can move to three different positions on the fretboard to create really awesome and interesting sounds. If you're an absolute total beginner you should be able to do this with a minimal amount of practice and effort and this will sound absolutely terrific. People will be amazed by how it sounds. You just got to keep one little secret for me and don't tell them how easy this is going to be to do. So to play these chords, basically what you're going to do is take your first finger and your second finger, you're going to plonk them on string number three and four at the second fret. This is actually an A sus2 chord. If you're a total beginner, that will go straight over your head, don't worry about it. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking my first finger, my second finger, I'm going on string number three fret two with my second finger, string at number four fret two with my first finger there, and I can strum five strings down. That creates a really nice luscious chord sound there. And if you know the E minor chord, the traditional E minor chord, which is this, it's basically the same shape, but just moved down to string number three and four. If you want to use your second and third finger, you can do that as well. The fingers don't really matter that much as long as your thumb is low, your fingers curved, and when you pick the individual strings, you're not getting any choked sounds. If you hear this sound, what you need to do is put your thumb low and curve your fingers so you've got that nice circular shape. Imagine you've got a can in your hand, turn it sideways, put your thumb at the back of the neck and curve your fingers around and you're not going to block any of the other strings below the ones you're playing. So basically you take this shape and you play either four strings down or five strings down. And that's hopefully a really, really nice sound there. Now what you can do from here is move it up two frets. So you're on the fourth fret of strings three and four and you can strum either four down, which sounds best, or you can still include five down there. You've got an open A over the top of essentially what's a B power chord there. But again, without worrying about the theory, it still sounds pretty good. So you can just practice strumming. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. And what's happening is we're basically putting two notes from a power chord, uh, a fifth and an octave, with some open strings. So it's giving us some of the upper extensions, the ninths, the elevenths, even the thirteenths of some of these chords. So once you get the hang of going from fret two to fret four with this shape, you can go all the way up to fret number six, which is basically the top of a C sharp power chord there. And that's going to sound really nice, of course, C sharp being relative to A. We've got the A chord down here and the C sharp chord up at fret number six. And that's going to sound really, really nice. So you can just muck around with either one strum pattern. One, two, three, four. 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 And get some nice sounds with this. And you can just muck around and experiment with that and see what you can come up with. So once you get the hang of the finger patterns and moving around, you can make it sound really, really nice by adding a simple picking pattern. Whether you're using your pick or your fingers, you're just going to basically play string five downwards and go five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, down, 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 up, 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 up. Once you get the hang of that, you can move it to a different one of the notes there. So there you go, some amazing sounding chords that are very, very easy to play. So easy it's criminal and anyone listening to you play that is going to go, wow, that sounds totally amazing. You must be a great guitar player and they'll really, really you know, give you some great feedback on that there. So take these shapes, practice them, don't tell anyone shh, how easy they are to play, keep that a secret between you and me and go and have some fun with these shapes. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can keep up to date with some more amazing guitar hacks. There are tons of things you can do on guitar which sound absolutely amazing and are really, really easy to play and I can't wait to share them with you in future videos. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one.